Hello, I'm John Frost with Topspin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to show you a magic move to get a better racket drop on your serve. I'm going to show you a timing mechanism that's going to help. You're going to make a lot more serves, going to get a lot more net clearance, more consistency. Enjoy the video. All right, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell as well. Make sure you leave a comment on my haircut. I spent a lot of money on this haircut, so leave a comment. Let me know what you think. The serve, most important shot in tennis, right? One of the biggest challenges on serves is that we don't get enough racket drop. We don't get this racket into the slot. Let me show you how to get more of that dip here before we launch. A couple things you're gonna to wanna to do. One is just relax the grip. You know, you've gotta, you gotta pretend you're holding like a thorn branch in your hand. Not too tight where the hand starts bleeding, right? But not too, not too loose where that branch is gonna fall out of your hand. So you wanna be nice and relaxed with this take back. Once we get into that trophy pose or that loading position here, right and when we get we load this is where we get balanced right what we're gonna do from here is as we in, uh, ignite the the legs and the hips and shoulders to turn that's when this racket's gonna drop so watch that move here do you see that but one thing I like to do is once I feel that racket like when I'm here when I launch launch here see how that racket dips a little more so once I go here with that launch and that turn, that's the timing for the optimal dip, but you gotta stay relaxed. So one thing I do is just like a figure eight drill. So I'll just be here and feel that racket, almost like it's gonna touch my butt. So I'm here and I feel that racket drop. So here, and then as I launch, my force my energy going this way allows for the racket to go that way. So they're actually, it's almost like a pulley, like they're opposing forces. So watch again. I'm here, and then as I turn, that's when that's going to drop. So opposing forces here. So that launching, if you're not launching up and into the court, you're not optimizing that racket drop. Because when I get that racket to drop here, watch what happens when I turn and I'm ready to launch, if I stay relaxed and I really let that racket head dip, look at my path to the ball. I am going to hit up. And if any of you watch my other videos, we are going to launch hit up, but our racket angle will be tilted slightly forward. And that's how we keep the ball in the court. So that you should be hitting up to the ball. You wanna feel that but that face will be slightly closed, right? It'll be slightly closed when we hit. So that's a magic move. If you wanna get that racket to dip, make sure you start launching and get the timing so when we launch, you're gonna feel the racket dip into the slot and then we meet it at the top. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. We went over 11,000 subscribers. I cannot wait until we hit 20,000 subscribers. Be nice about the haircut, all right? I'm a little sensitive, so if you don't like it, hit the like button. All right, have a great day, everybody. Thanks, bye-bye.